Alright guys, welcome back. This is Creeper Commander and uh, this is a new episode. We just got back from the castle, got all of our new stuff in, ME computer, and it has made me want to use uh, this planter we picked up um, to make an automatic farm. In the last episode, uh, or the episode before that I guess, we made a manual farm, but I'm thinking that maybe we should make an automatic farm. I think I'm going to start out with a, uh, a rubber tree farm, just something small until we can uh, see how it's going to work for us. Then maybe we can move on to something large. So here we go. First thing I guess we're going to have to get is our planter that we got from the uh, little castle over there. The next thing we're going to have to make is a harvester over here. Is That's the reason we went and got the rubber tree sapling is because we have to smelt this rubber to get plastic. In order to make the plastic sheets, we have to have four pieces of raw plastic which come from smelting rubber bars. So I guess I better make sure that that's what that's doing here. Let's see. Yes, it's making rubber bars, which we'll take the rubber bars, re-smelt those, and uh, we'll get our plastic. So I'll be back when that's done. All right, guys, you can see here we got our raw plastic ready here. So let's go back over here to the crafting table. We'll look it up. Plastic sheets. Uh, let's just do one because I uh, don't think we're going to need too many of these, but just in case. So we now have our plastic sheets. Also, we need an Invar axe, which I think we have Invar. We also need two sets of shears, a machine frame, two gold ingots, and a redstone reception coil. Now we definitely have everything, so let's go ahead and get this harvester out of there. So now we have a planter and a harvester. So the next thing we need to do is figure out where we are going to put this tree farm. As you can see, I've cleared out a little spot here for our tree farm. And as you can tell, it's right next to our power system here that goes down into the house. So um, I've also built a little uh, hole down here to a nice little room that we have cleaned out, which also has access back to the power. So and a way out of here. First thing we have to start off doing is we are going to put... Um, the planter. Just put the planter right here on the second level. Right there. So that's where our planter will be centered. And then we will run power out of here, down here. Let's just get that going. See here, planter out. And we'll just run it back like this. Um, we'll knock this out real quick. No big deal. And then we'll run the power this way. Ooh, don't block me in there. Guess I had a little bit of lag. So we'll run that uh, down here. There we go. And over there. Now we have power to the planter. It's not going to do anything because it has no seeds. So as you will see here, I guess I better light this up so things don't spawn in here. Go. Just give it a little extra lighting for us. Okay, so in here is the planter. You can see it is using power. It has energy, but it has no work. So what we would do is we would just, well, do it like this. Come on. I guess I can only do it one at a time. And there we go. And put that in there. And then if we go back up top here, ooh, it's dark. We will see that it has planted the trees. So those trees will grow. Um, one other thing we are going to do is we are going to put an oculus accumulator right here on top of this hole. And then uh, a sprinkler on top of it so the trees will grow faster. So give me a second. Okay, we're back downstairs here. And I happen to have an oculus accumulator over here from a failed power attempt. So we will just pick that up. Get out of there. And we'll fill this in with some sand or some limestone. There we go. Just give me two. Pull that back out. One, two. There we go. And as you can see, our ender lilies are doing really good over here. Creating quite the uh quite a bit for us. So, okay. Next thing we need to do is figure out how to make a sprinkler. So let's see here. We will go over here. Sprinkler. 
All right. So, six iron ingots, two iron bars, and a redstone torch. Get us a little sprinkler real quick. Now we have a sprinkler and an oculus accumulator. Looks like I need to eat. Let me get some food in me, and we'll be back. Okay, guys, we are back. Uh, grab our oculus accumulator here, and we will just stick it right in there. And then the sprinkler right on top. And theoretically, this is supposed to work. There it goes. See? There we go. And then it's just like a slow bone meal being put in there so the trees will grow faster. Um, one other thing I do want to do is I'm going to put torches all along here. So these trees will continue to grow at night. Okay, guys. We got all of the uh, torches placed all around. And as you can see, see the sprinkler is uh, growing grass for us. So, yay. Uh, not really what we needed, but we'll get the harvester set up here and make sure it's running properly. Okay, now we got it positioned properly. So, we, uh, you can see the harvester teeth are out here. This is not exactly going to work just yet because of the fact that uh, the trees are so far away. But we're going to build an upgrade to make the trees come all the way out here. One, two, three, four. So, now we know four rings... Uh, we'll help that out there and then we are going to put um, some pipes in here so it knows where to go uh, Once we get it back down, we're gonna have it refeeding itself. So it just continues to reseed uh Okay guys, we are back downstairs now and so we are going to make us a copper upgrade for the um, Planter and we need to make an emerald upgrade for the harvester so what we're going to do here is look it up. I've got it pulled up here. We need the copper upgrade. So it's going to be three pieces of copper, two pieces of redstone, um, a gold nugget, and three pieces of raw plastic. So let's actually go over here and see if we have those materials. Let's see. Copper shift. Okay, there we go. Now we have a copper upgrade. Next thing we need to do is build this emerald upgrade. All right, simple fix. Now we have an emerald upgrade. And there is one other thing that I do want to make, and it is called a fertilizer, which will help fertilize the, um, the, the plants so they grow even faster than with just a sprinkler. There we go. All right, the fertilizer. So looks like it's going to be some more plastic sheets, a glass bottle, two pieces of leather, a machine frame, some silver, and a redstone reception coil. All right, guys, there we go. Now we have a fertilizer to go along with that. Um, I guess one other thing we're going to have to do is we are actually going to have to make an emerald upgrade for that also. There we go. Now we have two emerald upgrades, a copper upgrade. So that should take care of all of that. Now, what else we're going to need? Um, we're going to need some fertilizer, which we'll have to figure out how to make. I um, think I know how to make it, but not exactly sure here. Let's see, here we go, industrial fertilizer. Well, it looks like it only does it in 16s. So, that's alright, we'll take three. That should be enough. Okay, so... Oh, it's raining outside. So, we have our harvester here. So let's go ahead and put in the emerald upgrade in here. So now that should harvest everything that uh, is in this field here. And then we are going to put a fertilizer in here also. That should start fertilizing all of this area. Well, not all of it yet, because we need to put our fertilizer in there, but more importantly, we need to put our emerald upgrade in there. And then we can go ahead and hit fertilizer in there, but we're gonna leave the fertilizer out just for now until we actually get all of this hooked up. So let's see, the first thing we need to do is probably fall down in here. All of our stuff is going to come out of here. So I want to take it out with the diamond pipe. No, with gold piping. I think that's what I want to do. Okay, guys, we're back downstairs again. And we are going to make some golden transport pipes here. Uh, probably about eight of them. Let's go ahead and get 16 of them just to make sure. You never know when you're going to need these things. Also, uh, one other thing I need to make is an interface. Go ahead and get that crafted up real quick here. 
All right, there we go. Now we have an interface. Um, I'm going to go ahead and drop some of this stuff out of the system here because, uh, honestly, we don't need it right now. Okay, so um, one other thing I really do want to create is an elevator. I am not going to move up and down the mountain over and over again. So let's go ahead and get this thing out of the way. Uh, let's see here. Elevator right here. Looks like a bunch of wool and an ender pearl. All right, guys, we went out and got us a couple sheep. Now we have two elevators. So the way this should work here is we just take one. I've already dug out the hole here. Just need to knock the block out. And we take one. Let's see here. Make sure we have it right. It'll be three away from this wall. One, two, three. So it should be right there. And then we will take the elevator, put it here. And... Hopefully this will work. And then we should be able to put the elevator right here. And with the click of a shift button, we shift down and then jump up and we are here. So now we have an elevator suite. Makes life much easier. Okay, so we're gonna go in here with our wooden pipes or with our gold pipes, sorry. Okay, guys, now I've got it set up properly. Um, you have to have it come out of the backside instead of um, the the bottom side so we'll have to go up there and we'll have to switch the um, the way the machine is running because right now it's probably not running like it should be so let's go ahead and get this straightened out real quick look at that okay that's the way that should be going the black should be there see the little round circle that's where everything ejects from this square section is where all the teeth run that'll actually harvest everything so let's get some power to it um, how are we going to do that now? Uh, let's see here. We'll just make it easy. Knock this block out. Put that block in. Now we should have power to it. See the see it moving? The little graphic there, that means it is on harvesting mode. So here in a second, it should harvest this tree for us. If everything goes correctly. It's got power. So I'm going to shear the leaves. I'm not going to do that. It's got energy. Doesn't say it has work. Hmm. This is the fertilizer. It's starting to run out of energy. It says it has no work. Let's see here. I wonder if it doesn't have enough power to it. That is why we brought um, extra wind turbines but looks like this one has plenty of power i don't understand why it's not taking this tree down let's go ahead and knock the tree down and ourselves see if the planter is working i guess the planter can't plant because it doesn't have the seed but that's all right There it went. Did you hear that? It took something down. There it goes. It's harvesting the grass now. So it is. it just took a minute to warm up. And it is running a little bit slow. So we probably will have to get it some more power. There we go. We're definitely going to have to get the, the fertilizer over here some more power. So we'll figure that out here in just a little bit. There we go. Nice. And as you see, it planted a tree over there. So, should work nicely here for a little bit. One thing um, I do want to mention on this harvester is that it produces sludge. As you can see, it's starting to really come out of there. So we're going to have to build some iron tank systems to store this sludge. So that way we can make a sludge boiler and get rid of it pretty much. Because it is very toxic and we don't want it overflowing. So we better get downstairs and start working on that. 
Okay, guys, this is the rolling machine. We are going to need to be able to make the iron tanks. Um, looks like we need four pistons, a crafting table, and four pieces of iron. All right, guys, now our iron is crafting, and we only need four, so we're not going to wait on the rest of the stack. We're just going to take our rolling machine and go. Let's go ahead and get rid of the cobblestone here, this rubber wood, and these other rubber. Let's see here. I think we're just going to take this, and uh, we'll just put it right up here. Right there. Nice little place for a rolling machine. And we just need to hook power to it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see here. Yeah, we'll just go through here. There we go. Now it has power. And we'll eventually have to put an interface on it. But right now, what we're going to do is... Well, we're going to need more iron than just a stack. So... Let's see how much we have so far. Let's go ahead and pull all this out, plus these three. There we go. Okay. So, I think the first thing we should do is show you the recipe. Iron tank. That'll get us all three pieces we need. Okay, on the iron tank walls, we're going to need 68 for what we're doing. You can scroll this way through it, but it's just going to show you colors, and that goes for all of these pieces. So just scroll back to 9 and 9. Um... Four pieces for four iron plates. So let's get that started. All right, guys, we have enough iron tank walls to do what we need. Now the next thing we need is iron tank gauge, which, uh, if you come back here, is five glass panes and four iron plates. So we'll get that started. Okay, guys, here now we're going to make the last section of what we need, which is uh, iron tank valves. It's just four iron plates, four iron bars, and a lever. Okay, no big deal. One, two, three, four. All right, now we've got everything we need to make this tank. So, uh, wait, I say that. Last thing we need is some fluid ducts. Oops, not two Ds. There we go. And we'll get the opaque ones so it doesn't cause too much lag. And looks like two copper and a lead. Okay, guys, as you can see, we have enough for a few fluid ducts. So we'll go ahead and uh, just grab as many as we can for now. All right, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to travel up top here. Do our nice little elevator. There we go. See how we're doing over here. Okay. Right, and then we've got to figure out exactly where eh, where we want to put this tank. And I guess we will just build it right over here. Ooh, I hear a creeper. Holy smokes, I hope you didn't blow up anything important. What the heck are creepers doing out during the daytime? Anyways, well, thanks for helping us with our hole. You just made the beginning of our hole. <laughs> Not too bad. All right, so... We'll do it right through here. And let's see, do we have our excavator? We do, nice. All right, so we're gonna build this five deep, make it six, because we want to be able to cover it. So let's go ahead and get this started. Oh, now we can make it. We'll start down here with the base of it, which is going to be five wide. And five, five by five. All right, one, two, three, four. And then we'll go ahead and fill in the middle also. Everything but the very center piece, which we will make a valve. So there we go. Now we'll scoot over here to the valve. Then we will build it five tall. So that'll be two, three, four, and five. Same thing over here, two, three, four. Whoop, four. Can't go five quite yet on that one. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. And then we'll just, uh, right. Then we'll just go over. Same thing over here. And then across the top again. And, ooh, not there. Okay, so now we've got that. So we'll do one here, one here, one here, one there. 
one here, one there, one here, one there. Okay, so in these middle sections, we will put our valves. And then in the open areas, we will put our glass. So there we go. Not that we need the glass, but if this were above ground, it would look a whole lot cooler. And if we want to, we can put a portal into it to see how full it's actually getting. So there we go. Now we're done with our glass. Well, I bet we can't get out of here. That's all right. Where did that dirt go? There we go. We'll just grab some dirt here. Well, come on. All right. We'll try it one more. There we go. Now we can get out. Okay. Well, looks like we'll have to dig back down here to get rid of our last chunk of dirt. There we go. Okay, put back up our wall here. Then we'll fill it in just like we did the bottom. All right, so now it is completed. And um, if you were doing this on your own, well, I said it was completed. Something has not gone right. One, two, three, four, and five. What did I do wrong? I did something wrong. Because it should have transformed. But it didn't. I bet it's because we have those silly pieces of dirt in there. Let's try it now. Uh, can't have the dirt in there, apparently. Let's check it out. There it goes. And see how it transformed into looking differently. So, okay. That figures. Trying to take a shortcut and see what happened. Okay, guys, so now what I need to do is I need to dig down here to find that valve. Okay, see, there's the valve. And we're just going to drop back in this hole. We're going to come over here and cut our way through until we find exactly what we're looking for. So what we are looking for is the bottom here. So we will take this and carve it over. And now we're going to hook up our fluid ducts from the bottom of that over to this valve. So here we go. One fluid duct there. Keep coming uh, over. Let's go ahead and drop it down here. Okay, and as you can see, uh, the sludge is going in there. You can't literally see it, but believe me when I tell you it is. And it will fill up very, very quickly. So let's go ahead and get rid of those so we know it's not contacting them at all. And let's go out here and actually check out and see what this looks like. All right. All right, you can see down there that there is some sludge gathering in it. So, which is fine. We knew it would be. Let's just fill up the holes real quick here. I think for now we're going to take away the sprinkler. There we go. And we will shut this fertilizer down. Let's go ahead and take this, put it there, rid of this, and that. Okay. Now we will go back downstairs and look and see what it actually looks like in there. We have one rubber wood sapling. So we'll just keep it like that for now. And then uh, when I get some more rubber, rubber wood saplings, I will go ahead and fill it up. Okay, guys, we are back, and we have collected probably enough saplings to fill this thing up for a little bit. Let's hope so. So let's run back upstairs and see what it looks like now that it should have planted all of those trees in here. Oh, I said all of those. Look at that. It barely even planted any. Hmm. Let's see if our fertilizer is out of power. Not quite yet, but it's getting there. Um, we might have to run some power to this thing somehow. All right, guys, there we go. Now we have some power, full power. And uh, we can go ahead and put our fertilizer back in there, hopefully, and maybe it'll cut down some of these trees. Um, might end up having to add a trash can to this thing if it keeps growing uh, grass in here. But hopefully it's not gonna. I wonder if we have any bone meal. Maybe we can speed up this process. Oh yeah, we've got some bone meal here. Okay. 
There we go. There we go. Got a nice tree out of that. Let's go ahead and see. There we go. Got another one. I don't think we've done what we can for the uh, trees here. I'm just waiting for the harvester to kick in and start taking them out. I don't understand why it's not working very fast. It's got plenty of power. Um, it says it has no work to do, and it seems to be working. Just not as fast as I'd like for it to, I guess. But let's see what happens here. Give it a couple seconds, because that's about all we have before it gets dark. And actually, I'd like to go downstairs and check and see how that's working. If we're actually getting anything in here. Or for, ah, there we go. That's why. Let's um, put those in there. We might have to hook up another diamond pipe here. Better hang on a second here and catch all of these. Didn't expect it to start working like that, but that's okay. At least we were standing here, right? Let's see here. Diamond pipe. There we go. Go ahead and take that and put that in there. Yeah, should have known better than that. Let's see here. We'll just hold on to the sapling. Put sapling on green. And that way it'll know to go here first. So there we go. Hopefully that's enough. We'll see. We don't have too much time here. Let's see what happens. See, there's some saplings up here. I'm not understanding how these aren't getting picked up, but maybe they get absorbed in through the sand or something, or through the soil. I really don't know. All right. Let's go back down here. We'll just go ahead and feed it back into the system here. So, we'll come back and check on this after a while. Um, next thing we need to do is we need to um, make a sludge boiler. So let's go back through here and see what it takes to make a sludge boiler. These things, uh, just so you know, are very dangerous to be around. So we will keep it underground and have everything in it uh, piped out. So we don't have to be around it. Because it will poison you, all sorts of crazy stuff. So here it is, sludge boiler. Okay, it's going to take two, red, or two regular furnaces, two pieces of iron, a redstone reception coil, a machine frame, and some plastic sheets again. Okay, guys, we have everything to make the sludge boiler now, so we'll go ahead and kick that out of there. Then, let's see here, we're going to need our fluid ducts. There we go. And we're going to need some ME cable. There we go. And we might as well try to see if we can get an import bus here. We might need it, we might not. We're also going to need power for this also, so we'll need to go ahead and get those cables like back. There we go. Look at there, I got some more ME. Oh, wait, it probably needs that ME cable. <laughs> We're trying to steal it. Okay. Okay, now we have our import bus. I think that's just about everything we need to get this thing going. So, what we have to figure out is exactly where that machine is. Okay, guys, I have a space here for the sludge boiler. You can see that it's right off of the main area here. And we're just going to drop down in here. And just so you know, that it will poison you in a 3x3 three three in any direction. So, we have gone ahead and cut it off. Um this room out so it gives it three by three all the way around it so that way um, as long as you're not in this room it should not affect you at all so the next thing we need to do is we need to find out exactly where our power is look you there power yay so we can use this power instead of the power that's coming off of the farm there we go 
Okay, so let's go ahead and remove this thing and put down a piece of cobblestone and we will put it on top of it and probably run our ME cable out of the bottom of it. Well, no. Yeah, why not? Okay. So there we go. Let's go ahead and hook up our import bus here. We'll stand in our little hole we created. Stick it on the bottom. There we go. Works out good. Need to go ahead and hook power back up to it. There we go. Now you have power back to you. Then back to ME cables. And we'll see how far we can get with the ME cables that we have here. All right. Okay. Now that's all taken care of. Get our cobblestone back out. And hey, look at there. We had three left over. Now we can go back upstairs. And of course, it's going to be dark again. Let's just go ahead and make sure we have our fluid duct ready. So we can run over here, hook up the fluid duct to the system. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I almost missed it. See, because there's creepers everywhere. Okay, guys. Well, apparently what I had to do is I had to run it from the bottom of the machine because there wasn't enough sludge in there to do it. And as you can see, I got poisoned. Let's see what I got. I got one hunger right now, but I was being poisoned. Um, but it seems to be working now. Let me get... There we go. So you can see it's got sludge in it. It's got energy. It's got... It says no work, but it's got work. Um, so hopefully it is producing things out of here. But if I can sneak over here and show you... So you had to bring it out of the top instead of out of the bottom. And apparently I didn't need the lever that I can tell of. Because the sludge is coming out just fine. So that... Uh, it's good to know that there's enough sludge in there now to come out of the bottom. Just wasn't enough to come out of here. So now we have it working. We just don't want to get sludged. <laughs> so, all right. Okay, guys, as you can see, I have had to readjust this sludge boiler here. It wasn't taking items in, nor was it processing the sludge. What I had to do is I had to run a gold pipe uh, from the sludge boiler into an interface to allow it to come, uh, have the items come out of that. So, that'll wrap up this episode. So, once again, if you like my videos, please like and share. Leave me a comment and let me know what you'd like to see next or whatever. So, until then, this is Creeper Command. Commander.